What's the word? We're in a very, a very powerful season of our ministry where God is just bringing uh, unprecedented fulfillment of prophecy. So the Bible says, freely you've been given, freely give. I'm just one of those prophets. I'm not trying to hoard anointing. I'm not trying to hoard grace. I know why the Lord's given it to us so that we can be distributors of that grace for your life in a time of need, for the gifts you believe in the Lord to see. God is going to open your eyes in a way that you have not uh, experienced before. Just receive out of this grace in Jesus' almighty name. And Father, I pray and I thank you in this week of dreams and visions, everyone that is touching, everyone that is connecting, everyone that is able to, that you're opening the eyes. Oh, praise the Lord. I feel the anointing. You're opening the eyes of the nations. And even as I'm talking about this, it's coming back to my spirit of the direct assignment the Lord gave me. When I was 17 years old, the Lord said, I shall do a miracle through your ministry. I thought he was talking about physical eyes. I believe that there will be physical eye miracles. But the Lord spoke to me and says, your ministry shall carry a special grace to open the eyes for the eyes of the nations and for the blind in the church to be able to see. My goodness, it's just coming back to my spirit. Reminder what the Lord said to me when I was 17 years old. I locked myself in, uh, uh, locked myself in my closet or in, in my room. Praise the Lord. Give me a minute, Shaman. Got to plug in the computer here. Praise the Lord. There we go. I locked myself in my room for a week because God was speaking to me about vision and about eyes. I found every scripture I could find on vision from Genesis to Revelation. And I meditated on these scriptures for an entire week. I was actually believing the Lord to heal my eyes because I was wearing glasses. I wanted to to receive a miracle. Amen. And so um, in doing that, a mighty vision came to me. I found myself laying in a church on the carpet in the future. And I asked the Lord, I got up in the in the vision. Really, it was like a trance. I woke up, I got up, I stood up, I said, where am I? I wasn't in my room anymore. The Lord said, you're in one of my end day revivals. This is a revival where no one entered the church without having their eyes touched. Even cataracts, a nearsightedness, farsightedness. There were contacts and glasses all over the floor. People had thrown off their vision correction because their eyes were healed upon entering the church. The Lord said to me, don't marvel at the physical vision correction, but let this be a sign that I shall open the eyes of my church and this shall be a move of God that your ministry shall participate in, in an hour where I will cause my blind church to see. In 2019, March, exactly one year before the pandemic, I was called by the National Day of Prayer to paint downtown at the Rotunda City Hall building in Cleveland. When I went to pray and asked the Lord, what do you want me to paint at the rotunda? I saw in a vision a woman with a blindfold over her eyes. And I saw a mask of all things. I saw a mask on her face. One year before the pandemic, I saw this in a vision. I saw a mask on her face that was designed with the American flag. And God said to me, my nation is blind. And in fact, their mouths are covered. And listen, imagine I saw this vision. I didn't even understand God was talking about the pandemic that was coming, it was a manifestation of a spiritual reality, of the manifestation of a spiritual state of the nation. Ah, uh, somebody's not ready for me today. So listen, 
I painted this thing. I painted the woman, her eyes covered, her mouth closed. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. And the Lord showed me this vision. I might be able to show you guys the painting. The Lord showed me this vision exactly one year before the pandemic, before anybody even knew there was going to be a pandemic. We saw it in a vision. I'm going to get it for you guys here. We saw it in a vision. And God was speaking to the state of the nation. Amen. God was speaking to the blindness of the church. God was uh, 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 speaking to uh, America. He was speaking to our vision. Amen. He was speaking to our vision. There it is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stay with me. Y'all. We're in Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10. I'm going to show you this painting I did. March of 2019, exactly one year to the date that the pandemic hit. Exactly one year. And this is our Dreams and Visions Fasting Week. Amen. A time where we are believing the Lord. We're pressing into vision for the Lord to speak to us and continue to speak to us about our house, about our nation. There's the, there's the painting. You see how the blindfold, it's a blindfold and a mask at the same time. The Lord said to me uh, something that wasn't very popular at the time. I painted this at the rotunda in downtown, this vision of America. And the word from the Lord was your, your mouths are shut and your eyes are closed. I actually shared that with all of City Hall. And it looked like they want to throw me out. But one year later, this actually happened. This actually happened. And this is a large painting, 48-inch painting that I did from that vision. Amen. And you can see how it speaks to the state of the nation.